What's up everyone, Sean Kyle Black Earth here today with an album review, this time of the 2015 Eisenwald release of that album that's there in the title, uh, the EP by Grimoire. It's uh, Grimoire's brand new EP, first release since 2011's uh, debut album, which once again I'm not going to try to pronounce because I'm not going to butcher such a uh, beautiful language. But if you are not familiar with Grimoire, Grimoire is a one-man atmospheric black metal band hailing from Quebec. Uh, he is His name is Phil, and he is the drummer of bands such as Sege, Amphir, and of course, my favorite black metal band of all time, Fortress. Um, this EP is relatively short, it's four tracks long, clocks in at roughly 24 minutes, and what you can expect out of this EP is a very interesting mix of atmospheric black metal. It is a style that is usually pretty well beaten down and really refined to a point where every band's kind of sounded the same at this point, and Grimoire has decided to actually do something instead of taking the Wolves in the Throne Room Worship approach. Uh, Grimoire has decided to take the atmosphere of Fortress and make it more whimsical and make it more fantasy sounding almost. And a big thing that helps that is the keyboards, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. This starts off with such a strong song this EP and every song on this is absolutely phenomenal but the very first track really sets the tone for what this EP is going to deliver it's going to deliver some pretty good fast-paced black metal it's got extremely good production it showcases the many vocal um, ranges that are showcased in this and it showcases the ability of feel to not only write such amazing, amazing songs, but actually construct these songs in such a way where they don't feel like it's following a particular structure or, or a certain formula. All the song structures are very unique from each other, and that's something I like. The thing that really stands out to me about this <clears throat> is the keyboards. Now, they are not overdone, they're not overbearing. But they have this certain quality to them where they feel very crystalline and ice cold. And they kind of dance over the guitars at points with a more piano sound. But when the parts come and it's no longer a piano based sound for the keyboards, that's when this really adds this whole new dimension to the music and adds just that much more to the extremely dense atmosphere that Grimoire creates. One of my favorite things about the keyboards as well is there's this one particular section on the second track. There's this synth hit. And when it hits, it goes quiet and then it builds up with a uh, string sound. And when that kicks in and then the riff kicks in immediately, it is a moment that gives me absolute chills. And this EP is just chock full of moments that just make my hair stand on end. And that's something I look for in black metal. This is not just a EP that you sit down and you listen to once and you forget about. This is one that leaves you wanting more and makes you listen to it over and over again. And it demands your attention. This is not just background music. It can be background music, but this is more intent for you to sit down and truly appreciate and absorb the atmosphere of it. The guitar has this very awesome quality to it where it really reminds me of his main project, Fortress, and to me that's great because I love Fortress, especially with the more harmonized tremolo riffs. It really gives me that very strong uh, Fortress vibe that they had on Metal Noir Quebecois or the second album, which I can't pronounce, which is my favorite black metal record of all time. Um, it has this sort of ice-cold, very traditional Quebec-style black metal, but it's still refreshing to hear because it's a style that hasn't been beaten into the ground. And it's just killer to hear that. 
not only does it have these extremely memorable riffs and these harmonizations, but you also get these incredible solos that are very tastefully done. They're not overboard, not over the top, but they definitely add just another dimension to this already beautiful, beautiful formula of black metal. And I can't say enough good things about it. The other thing that I really love about the sound of this record is how the bass is actually audible. It has this very nice um, tone to it that really kind of adds to the deep atmosphere and the deep sound that this EP already provides with its already fantastic mixing and production. It's definitely not overproduced, but it's definitely not raw. And that's something I really love in black metal. In a way, it almost reminds me of the Skogan album, I Doden, in that fashion. And it definitely brings to mind that sort of blend of atmospheric black metal. Another thing that I have to talk about is the drum work. Now, if you are familiar with his other projects, such as Fortress and uh, Sej and uh, Amphir, I'm pretty sure I mispronounced all of those. Um, if you're familiar with those, you know he's a fantastic drummer, but this really showcases that he is more than just a black metal drummer. He has these really unique and interesting and intricate uh, ways of performing black metal that you don't really hear anymore, or you'd never really heard to begin with. Because black metal has always been a style that's about sticking with tradition. And what's nice is he actually makes it intricate and interesting to listen to, where a lot of drummers within black metal just kind of stick with the straight-up blast beat or the kind of thrashy sort of beat, kind of like, as Fenris puts it, the uh, sprinkler-sounding beat that's sort of stuff. I not I like that stuff, don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of it, but I really like to hear something new and different being done. And right away with the first track, once when the drums really kick in and then the vocals come in, there's this one thing where he's alternating between a very fast, uh, I believe it would be considered a traditional blast into a borderline straight blast, I believe is the terms. I could be wrong, drummers, correct me if I'm wrong on that. But it goes from a more traditional black metal beat into a straight up blast beat. And the transition of that within the riff is absolutely flawless and watertight. And that's something that is just truly impressive to me. It is something that I really, really wish I could hear more in black metal instead of it just remaining with one drum beat for the whole song or one drum beat for the riff. He actually adds multiple pieces to the riffs, and with that aspect, you can tell that he is more of a drummer than a guitarist, but at the same time, his guitar riffs are amazing, but the drums just complement him so well. And just once again, the production on the drums is just absolutely fantastic. It's everything I would want out of a uh, drum performance and mixing of a black metal record. And then you have the vocals which are more of a traditional rasp but are pushed pretty far back in the mix so it's just kind of cutting through with these very distant sounding screams that really add to this already dense atmosphere that kind of brings to mind summoning it in many ways. Um, you get those kind of vocals. You also get um, these awesome, awesome clean sort of vocals and spoken words, which also once again reminds me of Fortress, where they had a lot of more spoken word parts on their early material. Um, just absolutely great stuff. And there's even on the third track, these very low like death metal growls, and it works extremely well with the music, which you want to expect when you have this sort of whimsical, borderline beautiful atmospheric black metal, but it works extremely well. And then to close off this entire EP, this 24 minute adventure, you have these beautiful keyboards as an instrumental track to close out the album. and. I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite moments on the album. It ends it on such a perfect note that it's almost indescribable. And I gotta say, guys, this is probably 
one of the best pieces of black metal I have heard in a very, very long time. And this is coming from someone who is obsessed with black metal for the most part. And to find something new and refreshing and something that makes me this excited is just absolutely amazing to me because not a lot of music excites me like this anymore. But guys, I can't recommend you check this out enough. This is a perfect EP in my opinion. My only complaint is it just makes me want more. I just want more out of this, but I understand that the point of this was to be a just short EP that he wanted to put out, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, there's many ways you could pick this up. Uh, there's a CD version, a cassette version, and they're about to release a blue vinyl and a diehard black vinyl with a cloth bag, embroidery, a patch, I believe a sticker, maybe I'm wrong on that, and a flag. And of course, I need to get this, <laughs> but I'm broke, so I can't right now. But hopefully it doesn't sell out. Once again, guys, I can't recommend this enough. I will provide links in the description where you can check this out, give it a listen, decide if you like it or not, if you want to buy it or not. If you like it, definitely support this project. And definitely support Quebec Black Metal. It is by far the best scene going right now in Black Metal with bands such as uh, Sorcerer de Glass, uh, Fortress, Sombra Forts, Gree, Niz Eternal, um, just so many amazing bands, Monarch, uh, Chazé Gallery, you need to hear these bands. And if you're not familiar with any of them, check them out and definitely support the whole black metal movement up in Quebec. Absolutely amazing stuff. This is definitely for fans of Summoning, uh, Fortress, and in many ways, I would say Wolves in a Throne Room. And if you're a fan of the Funeral Doom band, The Howling Void, with their expansive keyboard work, this is definitely for you. For a score, guys, I'm giving this a solid 10 out of 10. And I'm just going to shut up right now because it's a 24-minute EP. And I'm rambling on for almost 13 minutes. So that's the end of this review, guys. Uh, definitely check this out. Support them. Uh, 10 out of 10, in my opinion, this is absolutely perfect. So thank you guys for watching, thank you for subscribing, and as always, keep it metal.